already. Yep, Yoshin Villager, man. Make sure if y'all are watching the use your channel points, get them in the stream below. Click on that little purple button in the bottom left. Click on that, add your prediction. Put all those channel points in. FE. I I'm perplexed because I wonder who I wonder who picked this game, to be honest. Yeah, they they do not clarify. I think they handled most of that in private chat. I'll see I know they're both in the server that I'm in. Yeah, no, they DM'd. <laughs> I was just gonna say, I, I, there were, I have a friend server with a couple of us in there. Gotcha. And I was like, maybe they sent in general. No, that's definitely DMs. But, um, we'll never know. And if they're treating it like Vegas, which stays in DMs, stays in DMs. Um, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but, um, right now, what we're seeing is pretty even match here. Santiago making sure that, like, he's trying to get that lead. But Salas really not giving him. <gasps> much room to work with here. We're seeing Salas really take this lead early on. However, rolling through the Lloyds, kind of losing position rather than spot dodging or just shielding them. However, I think that he's trying to not get conditioned into getting shield grab. Sal uh, Santiago really likes to shield grab by using Lloyd as like an approach tool. And uh, um, by conditioning you to grab every single he throws it just makes it so easy for him to get those grabs and get like pummel punishes as well as just general damage and so far we haven't seen much of either type we've seen some uh damage early on as saw this is at 93 but like santiago man kind of a slow start for this game saw this getting that extra fair for the extra crab man 41 Hits him again for 55, but does not spike. Pockets the uh, egg. Tries to go for fair. Gets spiked for it, man. Solid is kind of getting used, kind of showing him his, his old self. He's got a ton of games to kind of work with here, so honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if this is for the long haul. Santiago taking a game or two to um, use as like data. Nice use of that wall jump into back air. And there it is, the up air kill. Really getting you, I really love the use of almost like clanking in a sense that Santiago's using. Cause he's not really using it um, to stall or anything. It's just that when it counts the most, he uses that wall jump to um, just really stall out the recovery and make Salas think a second before when he's getting back. But it does not matter at all because uh, uh, uh. that's gross. Solid is with a strong win right there. Yes, sir. All of his strength. And all of his brains, too, it seemed like, with that head smash. Yeah. Um, so, I, I mean, let's take a look back at the uh, bracket while we have a, a second. I don't think they have, or at least I won't be able to see it. But this was a 3-1 victory. So, I mean, Solid is already <laughs> matching what he did last That's time. That's true. That's um, true. And so, I mean, he came out and fought with the Yoshi. And I don't think that even against... Um, Against Santiago, I don't think he really did much to really say, oh, I'm going to try to move to. Thanks for the tourney. It was lots of fun. Of course, Bay Cub, man, really great to have you come out, man. You're putting on really great and awesome matches to uh, to watch. Very competitive, and I think it's uh, been a joy having you as well, man. I hope you continue to uh, play in these sets. But I don't know that he's doing too much, you know, from a character standpoint. It's not like he said, well, I'm going to bring yeah. out a new character. Yeah. Um, it, just doing better. I don't even really know how to articulate think, it. Yeah, definitely the case. Um, I think what's happening too is that I think Solidus is very much aware now of like what stages Santiago likes. We're going to PS2, and I think because I'm I, I'm almost certain that uh, Santiago probably wants Town, and it's probably banned by uh, Solidus. I'm sure Smashville and Town were banned the last time as well, and that's why we saw the FD. And this is a stage that Santiago is just not comfortable with. But at the end of the day, 
definitely wants to um, like a wide. He wants a wider stage. He yeah. needs something with a bit more like ledge options, a bit more platform variety that will allow him to just get his setups as well as just get back into this game, man. He's already stuck behind. And I just think that right now, Solidus need, or Santiago needs to start racking on damage. There we go. We start seeing him get aggressive with the uh, Nair into La uh, Lloyd, but unfortunately, still still getting lapped. We need to see this bleeding stop, man. And I mean, Solidus is just giving him no space to go anywhere. Yeah. And he's playing this matchup perfectly, I feel like. Because so, uh, one thing with Villager is that like he does so well with snowball leads. And when you're like just not even given a chance to like get that type of lead, there is so little that you can do as um, Santiago with Villager to like kind of get that damage output into this, like to get back into this game. And uh, we'll see how this kind of works out for him, whether this is kind of just part of like a master plan where he'll just come back <laughs> um, game three, you know? Use but, a whole nother character, yeah. Yeah, either character or maybe, maybe game three, uh, Solidus decides not to ban town and just goes all downhill for him. That's definitely, that's definitely something we need to keep out for because if we ever see town or, or uh, Smashville, you already know that it's very dangerous for Solidus. I, I think that we may see a hero switch this next game. Um, just because, like, use one of your sets, man. Uh, it's just kind of this data. And, like, even now, even if Zaldis kind of is winning these pretty rapidly, we're seeing um, lots of data for Santiago's favor. We're just seeing a lot of what Solidus is trying to do to step him out right now. And if the hero battle goes well, then that's even more data because then he knows, all right, well, this this rest of the set that I can do, let's see what we can do with hero. And if Solidus here adapts or it gets better, then I'll just keep throwing out hero either this rest of the set or the next set. And you kind of just have to roll with the punches. But we'll see. Maybe it'll just be a straight run it back. Really keep, really pay attention to what, what, what stage is selected because I have a good feeling that... Um, Town and City and Smashville will still be banned. If not, then we're definitely going that. Ooh, we're seeing the Dark Pit. I like this. I like this type of experimentation. Not the hero. Already tried it. Didn't work out. And I think that this may also just be like, again, one of those character switches that we kind of, I, I joked about, but we also thought about, like seriously, was just that sometimes you just have to pull out a new character like this. Yeah. And we're going back to PS2 as well. So I guess keep that in mind. I guess also one thing to consider too is that Solidus has been playing non-stop almost best of fives uh, throughout, this, throughout yeah. like, his loser. Yeah, he's basically been playing a best of five now for the past three matches. Yeah, and while, like, some people, I'm definitely somebody that gets fatigued, uh, like, where I've played that much, um, I think that, in this case, Santiago has been kind of iced, because he had such a hot game with, um, RP4, prior to that he had Homeboy, and then after that he had Solidus, but then he was kind of, like, on ice for so long that... It's going to take a couple games for him to kind of get warm again. Yeah, yeah. So I think even if this set, even if this game goes poorly, nice roll through. That was so, that was like the most optimal thing he could have done. What a great punish. Because now this kind of switches him around into the driver's seat for this set. Let's see what Santiago can do here. Has some extra credit. Gets back here though. But I like the switch to pit still. I think that 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 board smash is like arrows are definitely a better projectile to kind of combat um, Yoshi's fast nature. And similar to Villager and what we saw back in Winter's Finals, we saw Santiago really use his Fair and Lloyd as a way to kind of distract and uh, kind of like, like just pester um, 
Yoshi with his jump and everything, as well as just trying to approach from the ground. Whereas in this game, we have a very much more subtle use of that, which with the uh, Dark Pit Arrow, because it's a pretty damaging projectile, but at the same time, it's not like his whole kit. Like, it is not like his owner. But being able to use this projectile and just interrupt the flow and kind of disrupt all this is train of thought, or just gen like, look at this. Almost gets the down smash there. Just didn't get the right read for it. Back throw. Yes, sir. Goes for the arrow. Doesn't get it. Oh, the star is... One thing also to keep in mind of is that the side B orbiter from uh, Pit, it has a reflector on it. So if at any point we see Salas trying to recover it by skipping ledge and throwing the the uh, egg, the up B, we could see a reflect and then if, if space well, ooh, maybe some susty eye. We're seeing the 360s coming out from Santiago. He's probably feeling himself right about now. And definitely worth it. I think that he just, he is still in the set. <gasps> Oh, oh no! And <laughs> taking a knee, is <laughs> Salad is there, just being like, man, that sucks. And the time coming out from Santiago, um, he's been in this game the whole time, so he's definitely not out of it, obviously. But there is some momentum loss, probably. But not looking too shaken up about it. Nice. Oh, almost gets the full combo. Oh! Yep, there we go, that one tags. Go wow. slow that one, yep. Wow! That was like three in a row! Yep. <laughs> nice try. No, definitely reminds me big time of uh, some old school chompy stuff right there. Yeah, man. Jeez. <laughs> that looks so much more impressive after watching the replay. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I mean, all right, he's definitely not out of it yet. Because even with, like, the SD, that was just super impressive, man. And uh, I think now we got to see what stage, because that's the first win we've seen Solidus, or Santiago win. So we could we see the switch back to Villager? I don't know. Um, maybe now that he ha has like stage control, because now he could ban PS2. Um, he could ban Lilat and Yoshi, or Lilat, or not Lilat, um, Northern. He could ban Small Battlefield, which I don't think he'll do. I'm sure he'll probably ban Battlefield and Northern, maybe, or Cal. I don't know. Maybe Town. He probably, I'm not sure. It's interesting, because it just depends on what, what he picks. And he'll probably be picking the, um, the, the, uh, pit, the dark pit. Yeah. It just works so well. No, it's going to be really interesting to see, because, um, you know, I think to some degree, you know, Solidus is probably trying to rethink, because he's, he's got to take a, he's got to take a win to just stand a chance here. Santiago, yeah. after that win right there, which was a pretty confident win. It wasn't a blowout or anything, but it was a pretty confident win. I think what you could kind of deduce from that is like, shoot, I might have to rethink this whole thing over again. And so he's probably feeling a little bit of pressure of saying, hey, I need to try and hurry up and at least close this set so that, you know, now I'm down to two losses. I need to go back to having three ops to figure this whole thing out again. So exactly. we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. All right. We are going to Northern. And I think that this might just be like a shot in the dark in terms of like uh, just play styles and character matchups. Because I don't know what Santiago or Solidus know about like playing on the stage. I know when we practice... Um, when we were at college, me and Santiago, when we would be able to have sessions, would have this stage in our rotation. And Santiago did play on this stage quite a bit. So I'm sure that him playing on it probably is like comfortable, at least to the extent of where, all right, I played on this stage. I played like good players on this stage. I played a whole like list of people. And, cool. but unfortunately that stuff does happen, man. This text, Hard to hard to keep up with sometimes, and I definitely think that 
Th that's something that you can come back from, like, easily. Nice up air there for Santiago. The up air strings are starting to come out for Solidus, man. So much damage already at 41%. And man, while this is the, the uh, stage for the boss Sephiroth, they're, honestly, Solidus is feeling like a final boss right now. <laughs> Yoshi's just one of those characters that just seems so oppressive, but as I say that, Kamikaze Curse, man, knocks his first stock off. Oh my goodness, what an up smash from Pit. I can't believe he got that, like, as Yoshi flew above him. I'm not even sure if uh, Santiago is ready for that. <laughs> yeah. Like, because <laughs> sometimes you just kind of like, all right, I gotta go for something, you know, like, go for broke. And let's see if he can make this back, because this is huge. Able to make it back, doesn't he get the back here on Solidus? Gets the air dodge through, F tilt. Let's see what he can get here, because if, he if he can take this game here, that would be huge, forcing a game five. And, like, literally proving our, our accidental prophecy, commentator's prophecy here. Yeah. Oh, oh my oh. goodness. Oh, no! No! <laughs> <laughs> commentator's prophecy. Looks like I'm the last man standing. Game three, Santiago. And... Uh, like, this is just a great... Honestly, I think this pit switch was really smart, because this also just allows him to have a character that has, like, very controlled airspeed with, like, the jumps, and it disjoints that Yoshi really can't contest well. And uh, that time, I think, was just a great use of it, man. We're going to be seeing Game 5 here. Will Santiago just close this out here and really kind of be a Chad? Like, really prove, kind of show his dominance here. Yeah, just coming back into the scene and be like, all right, I gotta win a tournament, man. Yeah. <laughs> has, do you know if Santiago has won an IDM? You know, I gotta say no. I gotta say if I look back, I'll, and I'll take a look at it now real quickly. Let's switch up that scoreboard really quick. It's actually crazy, because regardless... Uh, Solidus and neither of these players have won an idea now that I think about it. If, if, um, so if, if uh, Santiago hasn't, uh, Solidus definitely hasn't yet. He's gotten close. He's had his share of um, close matches with both RP4 and I believe Luxor. Alright, Solid is starting off really strong here. Oh! Try to use the orbit air there, and Solidus was just ready for it. Like, that was so smart, and he gets the up smash punish. Wow. That's just so unfortunate, man. Oh, look at all these up smashes, man. Almost like a taunt from last game. Like, that up smash was just so crazily placed. Oh, and the forward smash. Not gonna do it yet. And clinking with the uh, arrows, Yoshi's um, there. Gonna go for back throw into arrow. Nice two frame there with Santiago's down smash with Dark Pit. 
waiting on platform, trying to stay away, not initiating, because he just doesn't want to add on any more unnecessary percent. Really smart stuff, uh, Santiago as a competitor, that awareness of being like, all right, I'm already at 60. I cannot take more damage than I already have right now. I need to just like get momentum back into my um, favor. And Santiago here, possible game. Crit, uh, Solace now, that's his own down smash two frame. Goes for broke. Both of them fighting on this ledge. What's going on? And now Santiago behind in percent here. But really controlling this stage pressure. <laughs> Santiago gets knocked off. Up smash, nothing from Solidus. No kill. Dash dancing coming out from uh, Santiago, but gets knocked into grab. No kill yet. Uses Orbiter to recover. Gets the read, but then uh, Solidus does not get the kill. Goes for oh. Orbiter off stage. Wow. Can recover. Can recover. You nice get up attack. When you're at this high of a percent, you have to really just slow down. Like, all right, this is gonna kill probably. Can I, yep, there it is. All right, get yep, get away, get away. If you're uh, Santiago, you want to make sure that you get away here. Oh my goodness, that was that was so dangerous. If you're uh, Solidus there, but honestly, you have to go for it now because this is do or die. All right, gets the kill. Even game, possible bracket reset, possible game winning like stock or a set winning stock. So much on the line. Yes. I'm sure both players clutching their GameCube controllers, man, white knuckled, freaking out. You gotta keep your cool, though. That's one of the biggest things about like esports and just like any sort of event in general like this. You gotta make sure that you're the player who's a bit more collected. Santiago, man, kind of. Keeping this percent lead, just barely clutching it, getting these eggs. What a, what a great run through by uh, Santiago here. But Solidus slowly racking up this percent with the eggs again. Staying on stage, not forcing anything too crazy. Goes for the double. Uh, oh, the Orbiter. Oh, so much spaghetti. The forward aerial goes for back here. Doesn't get it. The stars. Everything is just so tense right now. Oh! Jumps out of it. Has to mash out of that. Nair, not gonna do it yet. The eggs. Oh, oh no. no! We are going into extra innings. Oh man. And that's just so unfortunate, man. And like, I think that that's just one of those like things. And you talk about interruptions with Santiago, like being good at them, but with Solidus, um, I think that he really was able to use his eggs uh, to really prolong and interrupt uh, Santiago here. Cause he might've thought he had one more jump. And then once he did that angle, it was just too late. And may have also thought that Pitt would've like kind of raised the edge and pushed upward rather than just getting stuck. And that might have just been like stage unfamiliar unfamiliarity or something, or just a genuine like misinput. And it's hard to say. But we're going to a bracket reset. And honestly for Santiago that was a great switch to pit. And that was an even greater use of that stage selection with Northern. And it's hard to say, honestly. Like, it's really hard to say who's got this, because now Santiago has a choice. He can either choose to continue the pit run, um, or maybe try something new. And I don't really know what he's got to, like, what he's got to try with a new pick. So I think, honestly, stage selection and just, like, playing as best you can is probably your best bet, man. And if you saw this man, he's got the reach. He's got the damage. He's got the consistency, so 
All he's got left to do is just close it out. Ready? We're seeing the hero. All right, here we go. Grand finals reset. True finals now. No turning back. Santiago now here starting on Pokemon Stadium 2 against Solidus. And both these players, man, like, uh, they've been clawing to the nail for this. Like, really trying their hardest to get through each other is crazy. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> like, I cannot describe this enough, man. They're just, like, going all the way. Who wants this more has yet to be determined. Ooh, nice use of the accelerate. Nice. All the way out for it. So dangerous. Nice dodging these eggs. Almost breaking Yoshi's shield there. That was so dangerous. Nice use of the uh, menu to kind of force Yoshi to throw those eggs. And then jumping out of the uh, egg throws, or the uh, menu system rather, to then kind of get out of those situations without like wasting that on a bounce or some sort of other move as well. Nice use of this side key. Gets accelerate. Nice fair. That, that, and that's so good. That, and this is kind of that hero that we kind of been waiting to see from Santiago again. We, we saw glimpses of it against home play and other players earlier in this tournament, but we hadn't gotten to see it yet at the start of a set. And here we go. Gets the psych up. Oh, that could have done so much. Oh, it goes back. What? <laughs> what, a, what a chance with the RNG. Oh, my God. I don't think I've ever personally witnessed that, like, in tournament play ever. <laughs> I don't think. I think I've seen it. I don't think I've seen that <laughs> I've seen that in friendlies. I saw that. Yeah, I've only seen it in friendlies. I've never seen it show up. What a risk! What a risk reward! Like, there's literally more chances of that to go for a poor option. It's like seven options or so, and more of a majority of them are very bad. Like, how you either explode, lose all your mana, you get turned small, you get turned slow, you instantly ex like you die again. You, you, you get poison damage, and then there's get big, get a star, and go invisible. And there it is, a three star with uh, Santiago Man. What a hero play with that Hocus Pocus. What's funny is, <laughs> we've been going on for so long that my uh, my uh, my press tablet has died. I cannot put the sound on. It's too late. Oh my god. <laughs> it's dead. I'm doing everything <laughs> manually again. You killed it. Yeah. <laughs> Battle of Attrition. That was pretty sick, honestly. Like, I get that it's RNG and all, but that was pretty, <laughs> that was pretty sick. Like, how do you, how do you, like, you can't counterpick that, though. Like, if you're Solidus, you're just like, that could still happen. Yeah. Like, like, and when you're that, like, if it does, or, like, if he gets a star or something crazy, like, He's still that, he's still so big that, like, an F Smash would reach to, like, the platform as well as the legs. Like, he's a very, it's a very big character to get that big. And I said Ridley was too big, man. Like, talk about Hocus Pocus Hero. Hey, Re Alex, thank you so much for the follow. Let's get back into the game. All right, looks like front of Smashville. Very interesting choice of stage for uh, Solidus. Maybe looking for like an easier way to get through all of the uh, projectiles and stuff that so uh, Santiago's kind of sending his way. And I don't blame him if that's probably the case because it's just like, 
we saw in PS2 the, the split platform layout, which is not working in his favor. And on top of the Hope Spoke Man, who wouldn't want to get off the PS2 after experiencing trauma like that, man? Just seeing giant human hit you with a sword, call an attack on Titan, call it whatever you want. But Santiago, not in the lead right now, so is looking pretty small right now. 50% and in a stock video. Uh, Santiago does have Psychop on, so he's going to be doing a lot more damage with the next hit he gets. Nice use of that fair, gets a pretty sweet 10%. Gets him to 78 now. Nice for there again. And it saw his air dodges to his death, unfortunately. But we're going to be seeing a zoom come out from Santiago, reset. Using the zoom is actually really smart there as well, because using it right when your opponent lands, negates them to be able to get a like invincible hit because once you get them off the angel platform you get like three seconds of invincibility and a lot of times players will just go and running crap ledge or they'll just run away <gasps> the thwack at 37 percent the rng <laughs> is inside the angel's favor what do you do about this <laughs> I just saw uh, uh, Swag just have like a big guy in his head, but oh my look at goodness. that sword goes straight through the dinosaur's skull. Santiago putting on a route at this point. I, how do you, how do you, how do you, how do you counterpick this? <laughs> And that, this really good Spike Man gets the two frame with that kill into that Spike Man. And Santiago kind of exerting dominance now, like through both that whack. And we're seeing the Salty run back. I don't blame him. I'd be, I'm, I'm Salty watching. <laughs> <laughs> like, if I, like, if I was not the commentator right now, oh my gosh. Oh man. That was funny. I've seen it run right back, man. Oh my gosh. Alright, 40%. We're tied about. Alright, goes for the flag again. He's greedy for it, man. He knows the R and gods are looking out. All right, guess the recovery. Oh, tries to get that forward aerial, but just misses just short. All right, gets the bounce turned on. Honestly, really great choice for Santiago here, as we are seeing. Oh, and he gets the zoom. He hasn't get, been getting that like this whole, this whole side. Because like, we, we did see him get the zoom earlier last game. But um, honestly, you can't complain when you got the uh, hocus pocus, gigish room. As well as a quack kill at 37 now. Yeah, that's a pretty good uh, odds. But nice parry coming out from Flame Slash against it, or against Flame Slash for us. Uh, this. Kaboom, not able to suck at that distance. The wind box just not back. Now we're seeing a rare instance of Santiago. Low mana here. A game away. Does he go for whack? Does not go for whack. I love that psych out though, where he would like kind of fade it over it and kind of maybe checking if time or uh, Solidus is like looking at the menu. Because a lot of times it's actually really hard, like both as a hero player as well as like when you're playing against hero to make sure to like look out for that menu because it literally tells you what they're going to be picking. Yeah. And if you're somebody who kind of tunnel visions and forgets about that feature, or like you just aren't reading them or don't know the spells or what they do, or even if it's like a not in a language you understand, it's really hard to. Uh, Kind of focus on it. So you gotta make sure that you're aware of that. But look at this. Maybe a reverse three stack coming out. Very well might be uh, the case as Solace 145. Not getting hit by much of the stuff. It really all all saw um uh, Santiago needs is an up tilt. But we haven't seen him be able to get it yet. With Solus at max rage, the amount of Yoshi damage is insane. Goes for a hatchet man. Uh oh. Oh man. Kinda, yeah. Oh no. How did he do that? 
and Solidus now returning the favor with a three stock of his own. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, Solidus better get his lick back, Trailblazer. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, guys, you can catch this plus all of the uh, replays from tonight at our YouTube channel at IPG underscore esports. We are at 80, uh, 83 subscribers. We're almost there, man. We're 17 away. I know it's really hard for people to be like, yeah, I'll sub to that when in all honesty, a lot of you guys are watching the matches that you already played in or you watched right here on Twitch. Um, but it helps so much because um, we're going to start developing other content and things like that for the YouTube channel. And I'm pretty excited about that. So much is uh, prospectively going to happen this summer as well. And um, yeah, no, man, guys, if you get a chance to definitely please hop over for a sub. Um, we do not um <laughs> hit you over the head with a bunch of just content videos one thing that i said my youtube video youtube channel will never be are 20 minute videos of me talking about said subject at the beginning and then six minutes possibly of the actual content itself so yeah now um as we get into that let's go ahead and hop into this is game number four i believe so yep game four yep and we're looks like we're going back to ps2 and honestly, I think that as much as Santiago hates the stage, he had the best luck I think I've ever seen, or best RNG, I won't call it luck, because cause there's still a way to lose when you have, uh, like, big mushroom man, but that Zero to Death Man was sweet, and Salas Man kind of kind of showing, hey, I, I can I can earn my, my kills too, man. Let's see though. 79 damage. That got psych up. The up smash gets to kill his own zero to death. Santiago answering back. He's like, hey, I don't even need, I don't need it. I, I don't need the stock. I'll, I'll just take this man. It's fine. Oh my goodness, 63 damage. Come on, come on. That's not good RNG. <laughs> It finally came back to bite him, though. I mean, yeah, like, you can it <laughs> that is literally what RNG means. It, sometimes yes. it pans out, other times it doesn't. But it looked like we're going to have with the Ow. super speed. Oh, oh my God, he was, was almost like, so going scared. to the bottom of PS2. <laughs> he's got, ooh, he's got the psych up. He's got both. Okay, watch out here, cause Yoshi. Okay, no, he, okay. As he he had the shield break set up. He had both the uh, oomph and psych up. Any aerial on Yoshi Shield would have instant broke it. It would have been such a terrifying thing to experience. Um, he also, keep in mind, has a fully charged neutral B. You can see it with the little flame on his hand. Um, and honestly, if Santiago is able to win this with uh, um, Hero, the Dragon Quest character, it would honestly be a sign that a good Dragon Quest game is on the way. Because we're seeing, uh, last night, me and Santiago just got to watch the Dragon Quest Direct that was announced by the company for their new game, Dragon Quest 12, that will be launching in 2022. So, mm, okay. this might be a prophecy? I don't know. <laughs> Shameless plug. <gasps> That's it! Wow! <laughs> Kaboom! <laughs> what was this? What's going on? Santiago, man. With the 3-1 Vic. Jeez. <laughs> well, like, this is great. Jab, and this is what I was talking about. I was like, you have you have the uh, fully charge. And then the kaboom. Like, how do you expect <laughs> that? Like, you just dealt with such a, like, terrifying fully charged 40 MP spell. Like, how do you just, like, Stay calm and collected after that. You just don't. Like, uh, like, like I, I would have. No, been... there is no, there is no preparation for that. You no. don't get prepared for that. Congratulations, Santiago, man. That was, <laughs> that was terrifying. It's a sign. Dragon Quest Twelve. <laughs> <laughs> right, Jack. <Jared. laughs> uh, pretty good stuff. The fact that Santiago won with multiple characters amazes me. Very good point, Chompy. Um. No, and I mean, 
Um, here's what I'm more amazed by, to be perfectly honest with you. Santiago started off really hot with uh, some 2-0 streaks. Let's take a, let's take a quick. We we should not um, do ourselves a disservice by not taking a look at the bracket here completed. Let's go ahead and redo this. I'm going to update the final scores, 3-1 in real time. And let's zoom out so that we can zoom in. Forsaken Santiago coming in today in the eighth spot. First gets a match against Homeboy that he wins a 2-1. We watched that one up front, saw a lot of Santiago tonight. Then Offstream wins a 2-0 Vic over RP4. Comes in with another 2-0 against Anyone Can Cook. Then has a 3-1 win against uh, Solidus Hedgehog. And then, you know, faces back and forth on this. And so the point that I was actually going to make, which is going to seem kind of weird because, you know, here I am showering Santiago with much deserved respect after tonight's win. I also want to point out that Solidus, I always think it's really important when you come back and beat the person who put you in, regardless of the, the end result of it all, right? You know, so Solidus actually faced somebody today that we have not been able to see. Thank you, congrats to Santiago, a true hero, with the final $5 of the night. And uh, cuts into the stream boss right now, funny enough. Um, IPG Esports at 5,000 right now. It's going back and forth tonight with a couple of people handing in donations and whatnot over time. Um, so we are five bucks away from finishing that up. Um, but no, honestly, Solidus with some with a really great impressive win over Bay Cub, which you know he ended up having to play somebody whom we have not gotten a lot of friendlies against. And so you know I'm impressed. And um, you know Santiago was on a roll, and then um, Solidus really just kind of saying, "Hey, listen, I'm going to come out and I'm going to play my traditional character plus the other one to give both." You know good work on that one and uh then the bag of tricks came out um <laughs> you know santiago yeah. with uh with a really great win with the bag like i said the bag of tricks just happened to come out at the end of that you know hero showed us something different in just about every facet of the uh really from that was game four on up from winner's round or from grand finals bracket one you know, showed us something different from game four on up. So, uh, no, I think it was an impressive victory for him. I thought it was great that we watched um, was his was Santiago's first victory. Thank you, Chompy, for the history lesson on that one. Um, but, yeah, no, I, I, I really were, I'm really happy at the competitiveness that we saw pretty much all night tonight. You know, anyone can cook had a really great match against Bay Cub. That wasn't something that was a pushover. Um, anyone can cook versus homeboy was another two one type of situation you know so we had a lot of competitive matches tonight um, from people who traditionally just have not fallen into our uh, top three or four on a regular basis so no really cool to see that if you guys get a chance to once again check out Solidus with another five dollars I'm taking the title back too there we go <laughs> <laughs> and there we go. You guys can see it right now. He just sliced it in half. He is the uh, stream boss once again. He'll be able to pick the uh, first match to happen la <laughs> next week uh, on stream, or he can pick his own to be certain that it happens because he's probably going to fall in winner's round number two. Um, but no, past that, guys, um, really happy to have everybody come through. Please, if you get a chance to check out the uh, check out the YouTube page for the archive videos that Cherry will be putting up. Also, stay in tune. I am uh, auto set to show the uh, show the stream tomorrow for the King of the Hill. So if you guys get a chance, hop into the King of the Hill over at Cherry's channel as well. And uh, we are getting ready to do a quick raid if we can to uh, Black Girl Gamers playing Monster Hunter's World, man. So um, thanks everybody for coming through. Hope you guys come back next week and we'll see you and we'll be here.